Hi, this is Dr. Desmond White from Desmond White Clinic. Today I want to answer one question that people often ask. That is, what is the cause of a polyp? What happened is that I just had a patient that is more than 50 years old. She has had abdominal discomfort. So we did a scope to check. We found that there's no cancer, but there were some polyps that in the colon that we took out. So you and I know that colon polyps can become cancer if you don't take it out. Uh, so I told my patient, uh, the colon is like that. Uh, it will form small polyp, big polyp. When the polyp is very big, they may become cancer. From a small polyp to cancer, it takes about five, seven to ten years. Take a long time. If we can do a colonoscopy, see the polyp, cut it out, we can prevent cancer. So this particular patient asked me, why do I have polyp? What caused my polyp? Good question. Long answer. But the short answer is we don't know, okay? As in many things in medicine, we don't know. The long answer is that when we compare the colon polyp and the colon lining of the same patient, we will find that there's some genetic uh, mutation between the two genomes. So imagine the polyp and the colon, they both belong to the same patient. They're exposed to the, to the same environment, the same fecal material that we go through every day. So they should be the same. But when there's a mutation, then they will start to change from a normal colon to a small little polyp. When there's more mutation, they become a big polyp. When there's even more mutation, they become a bigger polyp. And there's even more mutation, then they transform to be cancer. And then they become invasive. So that's why polypectomy is done to cut it off before they can invade into the colon lining. So what caused the mutation, we don't know. But we know that if you have a family history of a uh, colon cancer, colon polyp, you may be born with some mutation already. Then it can reach the polyp and the cancer uh, uh, stage faster because you already have some mutation. If you're no, uh, you born with very good genes, then by chance they become polyp and cancer, that is almost like your luck, okay? So sometimes we say bad luck, okay? Yeah. But what are the risk factors? So many studies have looked at it, comparing people with polyp, without polyp. We found the following risk factor. Men had more than female. Older people, just because they live longer, the chance of mutation, even if it's constant, the chance of actually occurring will be higher because, because there's more time for it to mutate. So older people have more polyp, male have more polyp, fat people have more polyp than thin people. So people with fatty liver had more polyp than people with no fatty liver. That was from a very good study from Hong Kong, uh, from the Chinese university. People that take a lot of red meat had more polyp than those that don't take red meat. People take a lot of barbecue food, like char siu, siu your barbecue food, uh, barbecue chicken wing, all that. They have more risk, high risk than those that take less barbecue food. More red meat are worse than those with, say, poultry and fish. And uh, people that don't exercise have more polyp than those that exercise. Uh, roughly, this kind of risk factor. So at the bottom line is, uh, what do you do? You can't really do anything because uh, uh, you can't eat vegetable every day. Uh, so we ask people to keep a healthy diet. Don't be fat, keep your body slim, keep fit, eat, eat a balanced diet. When you hit 45 in America, in Singapore, the, the age of screening, the government set it at 50, then you see your doctor for a fecal or cup blood or for a scope, okay? You hopefully, the best way to prevent cancer is to find the polyp early, cut it out, and end of story, okay? So the answer to my patient question, I told her that, Long answer is many factors associated, but when you had the polyp, this is a result of what you have done for the last 50 years. You can't really change it. Uh, but polypectomy that I did for her can prevent a, a, a colon cancer. And really short answer is why does she have polyp is we don't know anything in medicine. This is Dr. Desmond Lloyd. Thank you.